Researchers were back on the waters of the bay this morning, specifically Sturgeon Bay, searching for more evidence of Asian carp. That's because the DNA of the invasive fish was recently found in a water sample. Biologists are hoping that new testing will determine if the fish has, in fact, arrived. Eric Peterson has more in this Fox 11 follow-up. A three-man crew stalked the waters of Sturgeon Bay Tuesday morning, fishing for places they say Asian carp DNA might hide. Looking for any sort of frothy foam, um, areas of uh, leaf debris accumulation. This team will cover the entire Sturgeon Bay shipping channel, taking 150 samples over two days. Researchers say Asian carp DNA may have come from someone or something outside the area. Could have been bilge water, could have been live well water, uh, could have been any DNA that might have been on the outside of those boats. Asian carp have infested waters of the Illinois River all the way to Chicago. This video provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Biologists fear the carp could hurt populations of other fish in the Great Lakes. Researchers sampled nearly 300 ports around Lake Michigan this past spring, including 50 sites near Sturgeon Bay. Only one sample came back positive. Researchers say if they find numerous samples containing environmental DNA, that increases the likelihood that genetic material came from a living fish in this area. Well, a positive sample doesn't necessarily mean a fish was in the water. It means there was a vector that provided the, the DNA. But even the mention of Asian carp has some local fishermen concerned. Just one sample, you know, did you find one molecule or did you find a lot of them? And, you know, what are the odds of finding one in this big a body of water, even narrowing it down to just Sturgeon Bay? It's billions of gallons. Researchers say samples will be sent to La Crosse to be analyzed. Results of those tests are expected in January. In Sturgeon Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. And the researchers say they will come back in the spring to take in more samples from Sturgeon Bay. They will also take samples from Green Bay and the Fox River.